Joseph Stalin. The man of steel whose rule was a suffocating grip of fear, bloodshed and absolute power. But behind the iron facade, there lay a man with a curious appetite. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Culinary Timeline channel with another gripping episode of Feasting with Mighty Dictators, the place where history comes to life. Today, we will be embarking on a culinary journey into the world of one of the most enigmatic figures in history for the first time. So brace yourselves because we're about to uncover the secrets of Stalin's stomach in this chilling episode entitled Stalin's Stomach Churning Suppers, A Test of Trepidation. Your mind is about to be served a feast like no other, so let's begin. But hold on comrades, before we dig into the terrifying tales of Stalin's favorite dishes and recipes, to increase our time warp of tastes together, make sure to browse through our library of episodes after this video to continue your historical culinary conquests. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well and ring the notification bell so you never miss our updates from the fascinating corners of history. Now, gather your appetite for adventure. You'll be amazed at the secrets we're about to unravel, so make sure you watch until the very last bite. This episode will not only satisfy your hunger for knowledge, but also come with a side of surprise that you won't want to miss. Let's lift the lid on Stalin's mysterious dining habits. Will his culinary preferences send shivers down your spine, or will they reveal a side to the dictator that history books have left on the cutting room floor? Stick around and all will be revealed. Joseph Stalin, also referred to as the Man of Steel, was a famous dictator of the Soviet Union and was known for his ruthlessness and his calculated decisions. According to history.co.uk, he said himself, One death is a tragedy, one million is a statistic, and Stalin sure left one. Throughout his reign of terror, the dictator was responsible for the death of millions of citizens, soldiers and civilians who died in World War II. He also imprisoned, tortured, exiled, starved and forced people into labour. But did you know that he also had a penchant for the finer things in life, particularly when it came to food? Yes, you heard me right. Let's begin our culinary journey with one of Stalin's all-time favorite dishes, which is none other than the famous traditional Georgian delicacy known as hajapuri. Imagine a warm, fluffy bread boat filled with gooey cheese and topped with a perfectly poached egg, making your mouth water with hunger and anticipation. This dish was a staple in Stalin's diet and he reportedly enjoyed it at any time of day. Just imagine the meetings that took place over a table adorned with hajapuri, a blend of political discussions and the aroma of this delectable treat. Quite amazing and quite delightful. Now moving on to another Soviet classic named borscht. But wait here for just one moment. Can you guess the possible ingredients of this wonderful borscht soup recipe? If so, mention it below right now. Anyway, back to borscht. This amazing hearty soup made from beets, cabbage and meat was a symbol of Russian cuisine. Stalin, despite his reputation as a stern leader, had a soft spot for this comforting bowl of goodness. Perhaps amidst political turmoil, he found solace in the familiar flavors of borscht and enjoyed it immensely whenever it was placed in front of him. But Stalin's culinary adventures didn't stop there. Our next dish, beef stroganoff, was another favorite on his table. Tender strips of beef with sautéed mushrooms and a rich sour cream sauce, a perfect tasty combination fit for a leader with a taste for opulence. Stalin's dinners were undoubtedly a far cry from the harsh realities his regime imposed on the Soviet people. From a report in the Historian Guides to Cooking blog, Stalin brought a Georgian sensibility to the kitchen and is credited with creating a signature dish. This recipe is directly lifted from the notes of Anastas Mikoyan. He wrote, in a pot they'd mix eggplants, tomatoes, potatoes, black pepper, bay leaf, and pieces of unfatty lamb. The food was served hot and fresh, and the chefs added cilantro to enhance the flavor. The dish was named Aragvi by Stalin. Aragvi, named after the famous river in Georgia, closely resembles a dish called Chanaki. Hence, it is clear that Stalin had an affinity for traditional Georgian cuisine which often includes ingredients such as walnuts, garlic, plums, pomegranates and wine. He occasionally held all-night banquets that served Georgian sweet wines, pickled cheese and savoury meats. Wait a second, foodies. As we've just learned about how Georgian food was adapted during Stalin's Soviet era, we're curious. Have any of you tried Georgian food or experienced Georgian culture? Vote in the poll right now. Let's take a trip to the Caucasus region where Stalin's roots played a significant role in shaping his palate. 
Lavash, a thin unleavened flatbread, was a staple in Georgian and Armenian cuisines. Stalin, being of Georgian descent, often indulged in this simple yet delicious bread, proving that even the most powerful leaders find comfort in the tastes of their homeland. Starting with a young Stalin, his palate was shaped by the earthy flavours of Georgian cuisine with fresh vegetables, fragrant herbs and hearty stews. After rising to power, as he ascends, a taste for luxury blooms. Caviar becomes his signature indulgence, a glistening symbol of his extravagance and ruthlessness. Finally, the great Kremlin banquets weren't just meals at all, but power plays. Extravagant feasts designed to intimidate foreign dignitaries with each course a veiled threat and each bite a test of loyalty. Another one of Stalin's famous comfort foods is a simple yet soulful potato and cabbage soup, a gentle reminder of his past simmering amidst the Kremlin's opulent excess. He was also fond of shashlik kebabs, or Georgian lamb kebabs, which are skewered meats sizzling over charcoal, a nod to his Georgian heritage. You may be surprised, but he was very particular about the recipe and how it was prepared. Stalin also enjoyed Siberian freshwater fish, Russian cabbage soup known as shi with meat, buckwheat with butter, turkey liver, and Caucasian cheeses. According to Business Insider, Stalin also enjoyed power play drinking games and elaborate six-hour dinners prepared by personal chefs. And in another shocking twist that many of you may not have heard before, Kremlin's most powerful person, Vladimir Putin, is the grandson of one of Stalin's personal chefs. Isn't that fact amazing? Equally shocking yet true is that every course, every glance, every unexpected shift in the menu was a calculated move. The endless platters, the watchful eyes and the unpredictable outbursts were all designed to keep guests on the edge of their gilded chairs. The Kremlin table was a microcosm of the Soviet hierarchy showing the hunger for power. Stalin, the undisputed king, was at the head guests carefully positioned to reflect their standing in his court. A sudden change in the menu, an unexpected guest, or even the removal of a dish could send a message. The element of surprise keeping everyone guessing and off balance. It's fascinating to think about how the choices on Stalin's dinner table mirrored the complexities of his character. No doubt while he dictated the fate of nations, he also reveled in the pleasures of good food. Stalin's food choices weren't just about sustenance, but they were a tool of terror or a way to exert power and control. They were a chilling reflection of the man himself. But what do you think? Was Stalin's stomach a window into his soul, or was it a meticulously crafted mask hiding the darkness within? Share your thoughts and theories with us in the comments below. Well, there you have it, folks. With all the details, you just got a glimpse into the gastronomic world of Joseph Stalin. We hope you enjoyed this journey through history. If you have a taste for more, don't forget to hit that like button and share this video with your fellow history enthusiasts. Don't forget to subscribe for more amazing stories from the Wheel of Time, and we would love to hear your thoughts on the epic saga of Stalin's favourite food and anything else that you'd like to mention about him. Drop your comments below. Just remember that history is not just about dates or wars, but it's also about the flavours that linger on the tongues of those who shaped it. Stay curious, stay hungry, and keep exploring the depths of our shared past together, and we'll see you in the next episode.